Welcome back to the second part of North Carolina State and in this video as I mentioned in the first part that we are covering from quiz number 6 to quiz number 10. If you have missed the first part then I request you please first go to the first part and see that part and after completing that part you can come here and uh, practice the second part. So without wasting time let's get started with the quiz number 6. Here we go. The first question is a solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line means that we can so the right answer of first question is next to the broken line may pass which is the second option correct and next second question is you may drive off from the paved roadway to pass another vehicle the right answer of second question is under no circumstances so i am going to click on the third option which should be the right one yes and next you are driving in the middle lane on a three lane expressway a car begins to pass you on the right the action of that driver are so you can choose the last option which should be the right one which is okay if no signs forbid passing on the right correct and next when you want to overtake and pass another vehicle you should so you can choose the third option which is signal and pass when safe to do so correct and next after you have passed a car you should return to the right lane when you so it seems like the four option is the right one which is see the other cars headlights come on fourth one next you may pass another vehicle on the right if it is waiting for so the right answer is turn left next you may cross double yellow line to pass another vehicle if the so the right answer of seventh question is yellow line next to your side of the road is broken right next the eighth question is in which of the following situations is passing always forbidden so the third option is the right one which is the vehicle ahead is stopped for a pedestrian in a crosswalk third option correct and next if you plan to pass another vehicle you should not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane so first option right and next what does it mean when a school bus is stopped and its red lights are flashing so the right answer of 10th question is you may not pass while the red lights are flashing so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next 11th question is when passing another vehicle it is safe to return to your lane if you cannot see the vehicle directly to your light so second option so the right answer of 11th question is see the vehicle's headlights in your rear view mirror so first option right and next second last question is in general you should pass vehicles going in the same direction as you are going so you can choose the second option which is on the left and next last question is the car behind you begins to pass you you should so the right answer of last question is slow down slightly and stay in your lane this is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number six seven quizzes are done and now we are going to move to the next one which is quiz number eight and it has 36 questions so let's click on practice driving test number eight actually so click here we go the first question is roads freeze more quickly when they are so the right option is the last one which is shaded yeah next second question is when your right wheels run onto a soft shoulder what is the best way to get back on the highway so the right answer of second question is the second option which is ease your foot off the gas and brake gently next when driving at night on a dimly lit street you should so the right answer of third question is drive slowly enough so you can stop within the area lighted by your headlights which is the first option correct and next when driving in fog you should use your blank the right answer is low beam headlights which is the first one again correct and next you are getting on a highway which has a very short entrance lane the safest way for you to enter the flow of the traffic would be to the right answer of fifth question is wait for a large gap in traffic then speed up quickly so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next when you drive at night you can reduce the problem of glare from the headlights of an approaching car by so the right answer is looking to the lower right side of your lane yeah and next hydro planning can be helped by driving so the right answer is slow which is the third option correct and next expressways have express entrance lanes acceleration lane so that drivers can reach the proper speed before blending with traffic so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next when you get ready to leave an express you should begin to use your turn signal so the right answer of ninth question is 100 feet before the exit ramp so the third option correct and next 
The tenth question is hydro planning is usually caused by the right answer of tenth question is the last one, which is excessive speed. So I'm going to click on the last option and next. Roadways are the most slippery. The right answer of eleventh question is the first rain after a dry spell, which is the third option. Correct and next. When you drive in heavy fog during daylight hours, you should drive with your so the right answer of 12th question is headlights on low beam. So I'm going to click on the third option, correct and next. If your brake pedal suddenly sinks to the floor, you should first try to pump it to build up the pressure, which is the first option. Next. Why is driving on an expressway different from driving on an ordinary street? So the right answer of 14th question is the first one, which is you must think faster and handle your vehicle more effectively. And next. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? The right answer of 15th question is all of the above. Correct and next. Roads are slippery after it first starts to rain. When the road is slippery, you should avoid making fast turn and fast stops. So the first option should be the right one. Yeah. And next. Your car starts to skid on a slippery road. You should. The right answer is steer in the direction you want the front wheel to go. So third option should be the right one. And this is the correct one. We have selected correct answer and next. When attempting to stop on a slippery road, the best action to take is to the right answer is apply the brakes in slow steady strokes. So second option and next. When driving at night, be sure that you can stop within the distance you can see ahead, which is second option again and next. Animals may be transported in the back of a pickup truck only if they are properly secured, which is second option correct and next. When approaching a stop school bus with its red lights flashing and its stop arm extended, you must. The right answer of 21st question is stop and remain stopped until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm has been withdrawn. Yeah, and next. When driving in fog, you should use your low beams. And third option. Next. If you drive past your exit on expressway, you should. The right answer is drive to the next exit and leave the expressway so second option next when you are in a line of traffic that is crossing a railroad track that has no signals or gates the right answer is you need to make sure there is space to get all the way across the track without stopping before you start to cross so third option next when you drive through a construction zone you should pass the construction zone carefully and not ruben it so third option and next compared to driving during the day driving at night is more dangerous which is the third option correct and next always stop before you cross railroad track when you do not have room on the other side to completely cross the track which is the first option correct and next roads become very slippery the right answer is for the first 10 to 15 minutes of a rainstorm third option correct and next if you are driving on an icy or slippery road and have to stop, the right answer of 29th question is apply brakes gently. Okay. Correct. And next. Anything that requires you to blank could cause you to crash. The right answer is all of the above. And next. When driving at night, it is most important for you to. The right answer of 31st question is drive within the range of your headlights. So second option. Correct. And next. Night driving is dangerous because the right answer is the distance we can see ahead is reduced. So third option. Next. It is very windy day. You are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway reducing your visibility. You should drive slower and turn on your. The right answer is headlights. Yeah. Next. You have just left an expressway and are starting to drive on an ordinary highway. You should. The right answer of third last question is check your speedometer to keep at the lowest speed limit. So second option. Yeah. Next. Second last question is which of the following statements applies to all driving emergency situations. So the right answer of 35th question is think before you act. So third option. Next. The last question is if a tire blows out the proper things to do is. The right answer of last question is hold the steering wheel firmly and ease up on the gas. So second option. Yeah, this is the correct one. And this is the end of quiz number nine. First, we are done with the first eight quizzes. And now 
it's time to move to the second last quiz which is number 9 actually so this quiz have 17 questions so i'm going to click on practice test number 9 here we go the first question is you must yield for emergency vehicles the right answer is when you see a flashing red or blue lights or hear a siren so let's click on the second option correct and next the implied consent law is the right answer is you agree to a breath test when under arrest and suspected of drinking and driving which is the third one next mvc may terminate your road test before it starts because of so you can choose the last option which is all of the above so i'm going to click on the fourth one right and next you can practice drive with a valid special learner's permit between 5 a.m and 11 p.m which is the third option you have selected correct answer and next when driving in bad weather drivers should the right answer of fifth question is increase the two second road which is the third option correct and next when driving on major highways so you can choose the last option again which is the all of the above correct and next vehicle stopping distances never depend on the right answer is the time of day so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next the eighth question is you may drive on public or private property to a wider traffic sign or signal the right answer is when directed to do so by a police officer which is the last option next if you are driving behind a school bus and it shows a flashing red lights signaling a stop you must the right answer is stop at least 25 feet away which is the first option and yeah next the tenth question is if your windshield wipers stop suddenly during rain or snow you should the right answer is all of the above which is the fourth one correct and next the eleventh question is what are some telltale signs of a drunk driver the right answer is again the fourth one which is all of the above correct and next it is important to slow down the right answer is all of the above so you can read the first three answers and then you will realize that the final answer is the right one correct and next a five ounce glass of wine contains the same amount of alcohol as so the right answer is one 12 ounce can of beer so the last option again correct and next if a collision is possible you should the right answer is all of the above which is the four one so i'm going to click on the four option quick and next the third last question is as you drive you must turn your headlights on so the right answer is all of the above next the 16th question is you need not stop your vehicle for a frozen desert truck van the right answer is you are on the other side of a safety island on a dual highway which is the fourth one right and next the last question is as you drive you are required to stop your vehicle so you can read the first thing option and you will realize that the final answer is the right one which is the all of the above so i'm going to click on the last option yeah this is the correct one this is the end of the second last quiz so it's time to move to the last quiz which is number 10 actually so i am going to click on practice driving test number 10 and it has 82 questions here we go the first question is what are the colors of the warning sign that indicate hazards ahead such as curb in the road or narrow bridges so the right answer of first question is black letters or symbols on a yellow background so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next a diamond shaped sign is a the right answer is road hazard sign so first option should be the right one yeah and next to prepare for anything coming up in the road ahead you should continually scan the entire road and road sides so first option again right and next your brake lights tell other drivers that you the right answer of fourth question is are slowing down or stopping so fourth option right and next which of these vehicles must always stop before crossing railroad tracks? The right answer is tank trucks marked with hazardous materials placards. So I'm going to click on the first option, correct and next. The sixth question is, as you near an intersection, the traffic light changes from green to yellow. Your best action would be to, the right answer is, be prepared to stop before the intersection. So last option should be the right one, correct and next. If a vehicle using high beams comes towards you, you should look towards blank of the road the right answer is the right side so let's click on the third option and next unless otherwise posted the speed limit in a residential area is the right answer is 25 meter per hour next 
A red and white triangular sign at an intersection means the right answer is slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. So last option. Next. What does a flashing yellow light means? The right answer is proceed with caution. So second option. Next. At highway speeds on a dry road, a safe following distance is at least the right answer is four seconds of following distance from the car ahead of you. So third option. Correct and next. On a green arrow, you must, the right answer is, yield to any vehicle, bicycle or pedestrian in the intersection. So, first option. Correct and next. What are the colors of a sign which tells you to the distance to the next exit of a highway? So, the right answer of 13th question is green with white letters. So, fourth option. Correct and next. When driving in traffic, it is safest to drive with the flow of traffic, which is the last one. Next. Before passing another vehicle, you should give the proper turn signal to show you are changing lanes. So I'm going to click on the third option, click and next. Should you always drive slower than other traffic? The right answer is no. You can block traffic when you drive too slowly. So first option, correct and next. Your blind spot is the area of the road. The right answer of 17th question is you cannot see without moving your head. So first one again and next. If an oncoming driver is heading towards you in your lane, you should, the right answer is, steer right, blow your horn and brake, which is the third option. Correct and next. A traffic light which has a green arrow and a red light means that, the right answer is, you must wait for a green light. So the right answer of 19th question is, you may drive only in the direction of the green arrow. So I'm going to click on the second option. Correct and next. When you tailgate, other drivers drive close to their rear bumper. The right answer is you can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct and next. You may cross a double yellow line to pass another vehicle. If the yellow line next to the right answer is your side of the road is a broken line. So second one. Right and next. When making a turn, you must blank your speed. The right answer is reduce, which is the last option. Correct and next. You are driving on a freeway posted for 65 MPH. Most of the other vehicle are driving 70 MPH or faster. You may legally drive. The right answer is no faster than 65 MPH. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct and next. All of the following practices are dangerous to do while driving. Which of these is also illegal? The right answer is listening to music through headphones that covers both ears. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct and next. The amount of space you need to cross traffic depends on the road and weather conditions and oncoming traffic. So again, the first option and next and driving on wet roads, you should the right answer. 26th question is increase following distance to five or six seconds. So first option, correct. And next when traveling below 40 miles per hour on a limited access highway, you should the right answer is use your four way flashes. So I'm going to click on the last option, correct. And next. If traffic prevents you from crossing all the way across a set of trade road tracks, you may proceed only when the right answer of 28th question is there is room for your vehicle on the other side. Correct and next. Which of the following is true about driving on a wet roadway? The right answer is as you drive faster, your tires become less effective. So the first option. Correct and next. When driving on slick roads, you should take turns more slowly. Again, the first option. Next. A solid white line on the right edge of the highway slants in towards your left. That shows that the right answer of 31st question is the road will get narrower. Correct. You see a signal person at a road construction site ahead. You should obey his or her instructions. The right answer is at all times. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next. Which of the following is used on some highways to direct drivers into the proper lanes for turning? So the right answer is white arrows in the middle of the lane. So fourth option, correct and next. You see a flashing yellow traffic signal at an upcoming intersection. The flashing yellow light means the right answer of 34th question is slow down and cross the intersection carefully. So I'm going to click on the third option, correct and next. When driving on wet roads, you should drive five to 10 miles below the speed limit. So again, third option, correct and next. You are driving on a one-way street. You may turn left onto another one-way street only if the right answer of 36th question is traffic on the street moves to the left. 
so I'm going to select the third option and next. Which of the following must you obey over the other three? So the right answer is a policeman. So I'm going to click on the second option, correct and next. You must use your headlights when other vehicles are not visible from dash feet away. The right answer is 1000. So first option, correct and next. Which of the following is true about the speed at which you travel? The right answer is the safe speed to drive depends on many conditions. So let's click on the first option, correct and next. The most effective thing you can do to reduce your risk of getting injured or killed in a traffic crash is so let me choose the first option which is wear your seat belt. so first option yeah next what is the appropriate action to take when approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signals such as light or crossing gates the right answer is slow down and be prepared to stop next if a traffic signal light is not working you must stop then proceed when safe so first option okay and next you are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the track in one direction the speed limit is 15 mph so i'm going to go on the first option correct and next if your turn signals fail you should use dash to indicate you are turning so the right answer of 44th question is hand signals which is the third option correct and next you may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a railroad crossing. The right answer is under no circumstances, which is last option. Right. Next. To help avoid crashes, you should. The right answer of 46th question is communicate with other drivers on the road. Right. And next. For passing another vehicle, you should signal. The right answer is early enough so other know your plans. So last option. Yeah. And next. Before changing lane on a multi-lane highway, you should check your mirrors and blind spots. Fourth one again. Next. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. The right answer is at all times. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah. And next. What vehicle must stop? What vehicles must stop at all railroad crossing? The right answer is school buses and passenger buses carrying passengers. So second option. Right. And next. Allow a larger space cushion when stopping. The right answer is on an uphill. So first option should be the right one. Yeah. Next. You should honk your horn when you see a child who is about to run into the street. So I'm going to click on the third option. Yeah. This is the correct one. And next. Try below the post speed limit when anything makes condition less than perfect. So let's click on the first option. Correct. And next. When the road is marked with a solid yellow line and a broken yellow line on your side you may pass the right answer is if traffic is clear right when you are planning to make a turn you should activate your turn signals three to four seconds before you reach the intersection so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next sign of warning is a railroad crossing so third option again right an intersection has a stop sign crosswalk but no stop line you must stop the right answer is before the crosswalk which is the first option and next you come to an you come to an intersection which has a flashing red lights you should come to a full stop then go when safe to do so so again first option should be the right one yeah right next if the rear or your vehicle starts to skid left you should the right answer is steer left and next before turning you should use your signal which is the first option again next the safest precaution that you can take regarding the use of cellular phones and driving is the right answer is use hands-free devices so you can keep both hands on the steering wheel so first option again right and next your ability to stop is affected by the condition of the road which is the last option right and next what does road road sign mean the right answer is come to a full stop then go when it's safe to do so so i'm going to select the second option click and next fourth question is if an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be danger you must not cross the track until the train has completely passed so i'm going to click on the second option yeah next you may honk your horn when you the right answer is have lost control of your car so i'm going to click on the third option and next if you are involved in a traffic collision, you are required to complete and submit a written report SR1 to the DMV. The right answer is 
if there is property damage in excess of $750 or if there are any injuries. So I'm going to click on the second option, correct and next. You may cross a single solid wide line in the highway. The right answer is if traffic condition requires. So I'm going to click on the second option, correct and next. Before backing up, you should, the right answer is the last one, which is turn your head and look through the rear window. So fourth option and next. You may cross a double solid yellow line. The right answer is to turn into a driveway. So second option, right and next. Under no condition, the right answer is a three axle vehicle if the gross vehicle weight is less than 6,000 pounds. So I'm going to click on the first option, next. With a class C driver's license, a person may drive. The right answer is a vehicle pulling two trailers. Yeah, and next. If you need to slow down or stop when other drivers may not expect it, you should. The right answer is quickly tap your brake pedal a few times. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct and next. You have been involved in a minor traffic collision with a parked vehicle and you can't find the owner. You must. The right answer is all above option. Correct and next. What can you do to avoid the need to make emergency or panic stop while driving in traffic? The right answer of this question is look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. So second option should be the right one. Correct and next. The 75th question is you may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. The right answer is the first one, which is when to do so would interfere with traffic. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct and next. You must notify the DMV within five days if you sell or transfer your vehicle. Again, first option. Next. You just sold your vehicle. You must notify the DMV within how many days? The right answer is five. Next. You are driving on a freeway posted 465 MPH. The traffic is traveling at 70 MPH. You may legally drive. The right answer is no faster than 65 MPH. So third option, correct and next. A rectangular shaped sign is speed limit sign. So fourth one, right? Next. When driving on slippery road, you should increase your following distance. So I'm going to click on the third option, right and next. If a vehicle using high beam comes toward you, you should, the right answer is flash your high beam. So fourth one, right, next. The last question is when you park on the roadway, you should, the right answer is use your four way flasher. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah, this is the correct one. So we are done with the quiz number six and now it's time to move to the next one, which is quiz number seven actually. And it has 39 questions. So let's click on that. The first question is what does a slow moving vehicle emblem look like? So the right answer of this question is a triangular orange sign. So Let's click on the last option, correct and next. Second question is, if you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is, so looking like the third option is the right one, which is stop driving, correct and next. Taking drugs along with alcohol. So the right answer of third question is, increase the risk of causing a crash. So I'm going to click on the first option, correct and next. If you have a tire blowout, you should, so you can choose the second option, which is let the car slow to a stop. You have selected correct answer and next. You are driving on the freeway. The vehicle in front of you is large truck. You should drive. So again, you can choose the second option, which is farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle. Right and next. Sixth question is, you want to back out of your driveway. You see children playing nearby. Before you start to move your car, you should. So it seems like the third one is the right one, which is walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. So third option, correct and next. Crashes in work zones are most commonly the result of, so the fourth option is the right one, which is carelessness and speeding, right? Next. A bicyclist differs from a motorist in that he is not required to. So the right answer is insure the bicycle, correct and next. After an emergency vehicle passes you with its siren on, you must. So the right answer of ninth question is, Avoid driving close than 500 feet behind the emergency vehicle. So third option and next. What is the intention of the driver when he extends his left arm straight out as shown? So the first one is the right one, which is turning left. So I'm going to click on the first option, correct and next. The extra space in front of a large truck is need for. So the right answer of 11th question is the truck driver to stop the vehicle. So I'm going to click on the second option, correct and next. When driving through a work zone, it is a good safety practice to 
so the right answer is lengthen your usual following distance by double so last option correct and next teenagers should try to get at least blank of sleep each night to avoid the risk of drowsy driving crashes so i'm going to click on the third option which is eight hours right and next if someone is driving aggressively behind you you should so you can choose the first option which is try to get off the aggressive driver's way so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the 15th question is dim your headlights of oncoming vehicles or when you are within 300 feet of a vehicle so the right answer is the first one which is you are approaching from behind correct and next when a school bus stops to load or unload children vehicles traveling in the same direction as the bus must so the last one is the right one which is stop until all persons are clear and the bus moves again and next a pedestrian is crossing your lane but there is no marked crosswalk you should stop and let the pedestrian cross the street third option is the right one if another driver cuts you off in traffic you should so you can choose the second option which is ignore the other driver right and next at intersections crosswalks and red road crossing you should always so again second option is the right one which is look to the side of your vehicle to see what is coming right next the 20th question is a blind person legally has the right of way when crossing the street when he is the right answer is led by a guide dog or using a white or metallic cane so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next if your blood alcohol level is 0 0.04 you so the right answer is are two to seven times more likely to have a crash than a person who has not consumed any so the first two option is the right one yeah next a motorist should know that a bicyclist operating on a roadway must so the right answer is ride on the right side of the road so first option should be the right one yeah and next motorists should be aware that all bicycles used after dark must have so the right answer is front headlights and red tie lights and next when you hear a fire engine siren you must so the right answer is the third one which is pull over to the side of the road and stop you have selected the correct one and next a large truck is ahead of you and is turning right onto a street with two lane in each direction the truck the right answer is may have to swing wide to complete the right turn and next when can you drive in a bike lane the right answer is when you are within 200 feet of a cross street where you plan to turn right so second option again correct and next the effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as the effect that alcohol has so the first option is the right one blank limits your concentration perception judgment and memory so the right answer is the first one only a blood alcohol level greater than the legal limit so the right answer of 28th question is even the smallest amount of alcohol which is the third option correct and next if your car breaks down on a highway you should so you can choose the second option which is use your four-way flashers to warn other drivers so second option next when driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle with flashing light is behind your car you drives toward the nearest roadside and stop which is the second option and next a motorist approaching a bicyclist should the right answer is exercise extreme caution so i'm going to click on the last option and next as alcohol builds up in your blood it the right answer is slow down your reactions so i'm going to click on the first option and next if another car is in danger of hitting you you should the right answer is sound your horn which is the first option correct and next when you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights you must the right answer of 34th question is pull to the curb and stop so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next if you drive faster than other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction and continually pass the other car you will increase your chances of an accident so i'm going to click on the second option yeah and next for an average person how many minutes does the body need to process the alcohol in one drink so again second option which is the 60 next the last question is on a road which has no sidewalk a pedestrian should walk on the so the right answer is the last one which is side of the road which has the heaviest traffic correct and next the second last question is there is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead you should so you can choose the third option which is stop and let him her finish crossing the street correct and next a school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with red lights flashing you should so you can choose the third option which is stop as long as the red lights are flashing so third option 
is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number eight. amazing job guys we have done north carolina state together and i hope that you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon of our youtube channel and don't forget to uh, comment there so that we can improve our uh, method if you think that is there anything that we need to cover in these videos and we need to add something in these videos then please don't forget to share your thoughts your experience with us and i will see you in the next stage thank you so much